In this video, you will learn how to save firewood, make charcoal, and use charcoal and urine to fertilize your crops. First, let's learn how to save firewood when cooking. You can save a great amount of firewood by putting rocks in your cook stove. The rocks allow air under the fire, making the fire burn hotter and cleaner. Don't let the rocks touch each other. They should be two centimeters from each other to allow the ashes to fall to the ground. Don't use river rocks. They may explode. Remove the ashes often. See? The fire is hotter and there is much less smoke. You can save so much wood. After you put out the fire, put the cook pot directly on the hot rocks. The hot rocks will continue cooking the meal for a long time. You can save even more firewood by putting the rocks on a grate. Make a grate about 22 centimeters wide. Keep the grate a little off the ground so air can flow under it. Put small rocks on the grate and put the firewood on the rocks. Remove the ashes often. You will save so much firewood and there will be little smoke. And maize cobs and other crop waste burn better too. A partial cylinder will help. Rocks work in charcoal cook stoves too. Put two centimeter rocks on the grate. Keep the rocks one to two centimeters apart. Put the charcoal on the rocks. You will save a lot of charcoal. Now, let's learn how to make charcoal powder while you are cooking with wood. It is easy and you will not use any more wood to cook your meals. To make charcoal powder for your crops, remove embers with tongs and crush the hot embers on the ground. They will immediately cool. Maize cobs work well too. Do not breathe the black dust. It is very bad. Cover your face if necessary. Or you can remove embers with tongs and cover with a pot. The hot embers will quickly cool under the pot. You can crush the charcoal for your crops or use large pieces for cooking. Now, let's learn how to use charcoal powder and urine as fertilizer to double your crops. Look how much bigger your maize will be. And the charcoal powder will stay in the ground forever, making your soil more and more fertile every year. Everyone in your family should collect all the urine they can every day. You should collect as much charcoal powder as you can. Mix the urine and charcoal powder every day. If you do not have a bucket, pour the urine and charcoal powder into a hole. Always wash your hands after handling urine. If your plants are above ground, you can apply the mixture when the bucket is full. Dig a small hole away from the plant. Put some of the mixture in the hole and cover with dirt. Stop applying one month before harvest because it will not do any good then. If you cannot apply the mixture now, save it until your next planting season. Let the charcoal powder absorb the nutrients in the urine. Everyone in your family should collect all the urine they can every day. You should collect as much charcoal powder as you can. Dig a large hole and pile dirt around the top of the hole to keep water out. Rain is okay. It will help if you put plastic on the bottom of the hole. When your bucket is full, pour it into the hole. 
Keep adding to the pile until it is time to plant your seeds. If you don't have a bucket, you can pee directly on the charcoal powder in the hole. The charcoal powder must be soaked with urine to work. Don't worry if it dries after it is soaked. When it is time to plant your seeds, put some charcoal powder in the hole and cover it with dirt. Drop in the seeds and cover the hole with dirt. You will be amazed at how much more produce you will make with this fertilizer. Please share this video with everyone you know. Making tongs is easy. Just take a long piece of metal and bend it. To make a grate, start with a square piece of metal that is about 22 centimeters by 22 centimeters. Make holes and cut the corners. And bend the corners down to make legs that are 2 centimeters. To make a partial cylinder, start with a piece of metal that is about 5 centimeters by 41 centimeters and bend it. Contact us if you would like this video translated into another language. Please share this video with everyone you know.